Okay, so thank you for your time. Um, maybe I start with the, the question about the power of technology, the power of maybe also social media, because especially in communication, it is a quite like important topic talking about populism. Well, I think social media is a really powerful tool uh, in the first place because it empowers people to speak up and uh, to immediately have their voices heard all over the place, all over the world, actually. And that's a great thing. So that is that is the, the idea of, of uh, um, uh, democracy uh, combined with technology. Uh, the other thing is uh, when everybody can, can speak up, uh, you hear a lot of um, pretty uh, harsh voices as well. That's what we experience in the in the rise of populism at the moment. But still, I think uh, it's necessary to to seriously take into account what the people are coming, uh, where the people are coming from, and why they are uh, they are uh, angry and disappointed. So the whole move against the elitist um, part of society is something we really need to figure out, I guess. But everybody speaks up in social media, isn't it? And sometimes, as you said, just noise. Is, it, is this power maybe overestimated? It's a lot of noise, that's true. And um, the, the growing noise um, enforces uh, that people need uh, new ways of filter, filtering um, so that they get to the, the real important uh, information, the real important content. That is a challenge that I guess, uh, speaking also at the University of St. Gallen today, is a real challenge for universities, for the whole education system, because we really need to relearn how to filter the, the uh, helpful stuff from, from the hindrances uh, in all that noise on, on, on the internet.